window. It's just about sunset. Uh, oh, got a visitor. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good? Yeah. And we're uh, just sitting under the bird feeder here. Hearing airplanes go over, and uh, <coughs> see if I can make a little tripod here out of these sticks. And uh, oh, there. good to stretch out before you meditate, huh, Saki? There he goes. He's gonna sit with the tree there. Let's see if these sticks are just stuck in the ground. And they should. They're named sticks, so they should be stuck. Let's see if uh, I can weave them a little to get them on support. <laughs> that didn't work. This is compelling movie making, right? Very compelling movie making. That feels a little better. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna just try to see something. And the uh, sunset is. Uh, the sun is there. The sunset's everywhere, I suppose. And uh, I'm just kind of. Nose in kind of a, a mental emotional space for meditation, but uh, hadn't thought of which one to do. Um, but then I saw the bird feeder. Something about the bird feeder might uh, register for meditation. that it's uh, hardware on the horse paddock gates and in for the evening Molly's coming in for the evening uh, so a few thoughts about the bird feeder you know it's, it feels like a real um, first of all it's seeds so it's just intensely dense as foodstuffs go you know like each how you doing? I see you looking at me. I see you. Each seed is, you know, uh, a whole plant, right? Uh, he's scratching at the tree again. Probably heard that. And uh, if we think about if every seed in the, in the bird feeder uh, was a plant, you know, I don't know flowers I guess and how much space that would take up you know each seed becoming one plant which has the space it has on average even and yet you know packed into that is you know it's a jar of jelly beans contest I mean <laughs> 10,000 seeds you know how many I don't know acres of flowers is that how many hectares I don't know this is very dense uh, very 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 dense food uh, uh, situation <coughs> but also kind of the uh, you know so, so as to the density you know generally food is you know here's some food here here's some food here let me head over there and get some food which takes time and distance and space and energy so the amount of energy it takes to get that much energy is, you know, the, the, the energy cost to get it is so low and the energy available is so high. It's just such an unusual um, food situation. And uh, I also think uh, there's some color in the sky. I don't know if it comes out on that, how washed out it is or if I can change the exposure. Uh, that might have, yeah, kind of, 
kids kind of work. There's a little exposure change there. And uh, the the bird feeder, of course, also serves as the subtractant. You know, so it's a very local uh, point uh, that many many beings uh, tune into and arrive from all their different directions. As opposed to you know the, the the field of flowers idea, you could picture a bird, for example, and just going to many many places, and then we kind of have this inverted possibility of many many birds coming to one place. Saki's in the mood to play. He's giving me that look. Don't you? Yeah. He's giving me that look. Ooh, but I don't see much here to play with. This is kind of so. See, the other thought of the bird feeder that was very interesting is that it's um, it's much higher then these seeds are likely to usually be found. And imagine that the seeds, as berries, as fruits, as flowers, start off the ground, as flowers tend to do. And then they work in some quick amount of time, I'd imagine, their way to the ground if they haven't been eaten. But they get shaken loose by other beings, by air currents, by precipitation and indeed by the movement of the trees. And uh, this is an interesting, must be an interesting experience for the birds. You know, this is all suspended food. Because uh, like, placement of the food is not where it's normally placed. Of course, a lot of food falls out of the bird feeder and so it ends up on the ground just as the natural seeds from the plants. But when I kind of think about these ideas of summoning many to a place, that place being suspended and then the, the cost and density uh, sort of flipped from the usual, it's like a very interesting Thing. And if we think of the seeds, of course, as just simple nutrition, which means it doesn't have to be gastrointestinal nutrition. You know, is there an analogous sort of thought? Drape a thought that has a lower cost higher nutrition density, is there a type of thought that's uh, elevated, is there a so type of thought that many come to, so these sort of three notions about the bird feeder came to mind, and from the beginning I'm thinking about it in terms of nutrition, and of course that means it doesn't necessarily mean you know, vittles, but it could be thoughts or breaths, meditations. And so I'm thinking now, what sort of thought, what sort of word represents what sort of thought that is in sync with those notions? The sort of thought that's elevated, uh, easily graspable, nutrient dense, and uh, that many come to. So I'm kind of thinking of a word that reflects that. And for me, the word is healing. Well, it's not a right answer. But maybe for you, you have another idea. So I'm going to do a little meditation on healing, thanks to the bird feeder. Turn this slightly if I don't lose it. I'll go back to the uh, focus that we had if I can. 
So my thought is, uh, uh, with the breath, inhaling uh, like a filter, like a choice, inhaling that which will heal or make whole or repair or mend and then exhaling that which is ragged, that which is turbid, that which is disuseful, that which is unwhole. Whether they're thoughts, opinions, prejudices, sensations, memories, fears, that's my meditation. Inhaling that which is whole making, exhaling that which is fractured and disturbed. I thought we'd go a little bit longer, but Zaki decided to hop aboard. What'd you find there, buddy? He's found something very interesting. By my toe in the leaves. I don't know what. But he's found very interesting now. What is that? Sorry. He's uh, licking the leaves, apparently. Yeah, did you find something healing over here? Oh, he's rubbing on that. Something's very good. What did you find? Did you find something? <laughs> yeah. There it goes. I knew that you were feeling playful. I know. Oh, I knew that you were. I even told everybody watching. <laughs> oh, you got me. You got me. That's it. You did good. Thank you. All right. Thanks for joining us in the bird feeder meditation slash rub your nose on the ground.